Hello and welcome to a quick video on how to remove the startup tab and this actual learn and create window in Autodesk AutoCAD and actually take care of the logo. We're going to take care of three separate things that you may or may not need. For expert users, we don't need to see the start drawing, the learn tab or the create tab. I like to go through this to find out all of the videos and you can always turn it back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch a drawing in AutoCAD by hitting that. This variable is controlled by typing startup. And you'll notice I love autocomplete because if I don't know the name of the variable, it'll automatically fill it in for me. I'm going to change that variable from three to zero. You can look that up in the systems variable editor. If I now change that. Another thing people ask is, I don't want the start tab over here. I don't want the ability to go to that. So we're going to type in start again. This time we're going to type startup mode to change that to zero. So we change two variables to zero. We can set them in the ACAD doc.lisp or in a startup program so it launches every time that way. I'm going to X out of AutoCAD. I don't need to save and I'm going to launch it one more time and I'm going to show you what happened. What AutoCAD's going to do is no, it's normal loading of all its variables and you'll notice I loaded right into my drawing. I'm at my current name exactly where I want to be. Let's take care of one more housekeeping item. Let's remove the AutoCAD splash screen as well. I'm going to right click my shortcut here. I'm going to hit properties and there's switches you can enable. Most people put a workspace up in there and any other thing you can do according to maybe your company standards. I'm going to do a forward slash after the ENUS and type no logo. One word. Hit OK. It'll ask you for permission to alter the shortcut file. Now watch when I hit AutoCAD. I have no splash screen. I have no start tab nor do I have the learn connect and explore. That's a great way to remove some of these items after you learn the features and tools of the items. I recommend keeping them in there, taking a view at them, looking at them. If they work for you, then great, use them. If you're a novice user, they're very great. If you're more of an experienced expert level user, I may suggest turning those off. Thank you.